Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to see a new tool which is FFUF, which basically stands for First Faster You Fool, which is named by the security researcher who has made this tool. So we will see first thing first, how to do the installation of FFUF. So basically, what is FFUF and why a new tool again? This is a very fast web fuzzer, which is written in Go language. In the previous videos, we have seen WFuzz, which is again a web fuzzer, but it is written in Python because of which it is comparatively slow than FFUF and FFUF is considered to be much faster than WFuzz because of the Go language. All right, you are free to use any tool that you want. I will recommend using both of the tools yourself and you can see the differences in both of the tool. Although the commands are a little bit different, but the output or the functionalities of both the tools is exactly the same because both of them are used for the same purpose. So to get started with FFUF, the first thing that you require is Go package or Go language installed into your computer. Second thing is the FFUF tool itself. And third thing, which is very, very important is word list, which you are going to fuzz using this particular tool. I will be adding the list of all the word list, which I use and are very good word list in terms of web fuzzing. All right, so it is the practical time and let's see how we can do the installation of this particular tool and start fuzzing the web applications for our penetration testing and bug bounties. I have added this particular slide in this lecture. Let me just zoom this. Yeah, as you can see over here, FFUF is a first faster you fool. What is it? It is actually a web fuzzer, which is written in Go language and it is a faster than WFuzz. When you will successfully install it, it is going to look something like this. What are the requirements? We have already discussed. The first requirement is the Go language itself, which can be downloaded from here, this particular link. You can just go there and the steps are very simple to install it into your computer. The next thing is the FFUF tool itself, which you can download from github slash FFUF slash FFUF. For this, after you have installed Go language, you can just type this particular command, which is go get github slash FFUF slash FFUF and go will get installed into your computer. Next. But the most important one is the correct word list. So these are the word list which are very, very useful, which have turned out to be very, very useful for me. And I will suggest using this word list for your pen test and for your bug bounties. The first word list is the sec list. The second one is the first DB. Next is payload all things. Then Jason Haddix all dot txt. JSON Haddix content dot discovery and then finally dictionary dot txt. These are the most famous repositories or word list which you can find and you can use them for your web fuzzing. All right, so let me open up my terminal. And in the terminal, first I have installed Go into my computer. So after you have successfully installed Go, you need to install FFUF also. So for that you have, you need to type go get and github.com slash FFUF slash FFUF. So you can just type and hit enter and FFUF will get installed into your computer. All right. So once you have installed FFUF into your computer, let me show you where it gets installed. So you have to go to this particular hidden directory, which is go. And once you go into this hidden directory, you will be able to see a folder called as bin. So let me just go in bin and show you. 
So here you can see FFUF is successfully installed over here. So you can start FFUF from here as well, or you can start FFUF from any screen that you want. So let me just show you how does FFUF looks when you have installed it. So you just need to type FFUF and the tool will start. And this is the documentation or the help usage for how you can use. So as you can see FFUF, it requires hyphen U flag or request flag for the input and then hyphen W for word list. And there are many options which are given with this tool, which you can utilize to start a fuzzing. So in the next videos, we are going to see how you can fuzz better with the word list, how you can do authentication bypass or login brute force using this web fuzzer. I hope everyone of you understood the simple installation of FFUF. Thank you.